Well, this watchmaker is giving our Kababayans overseas a chance to wear their Pinoy pride on their wrists. Juni Sudoy Sorsano started working in an ice cream parlor. Today, he is a co-owner of the first Filipino brand called Kaya Ko, designed to embody the courage of modern day Filipinos. Their watches hope to empower fellow overseas Filipino expatriates. He joins us now live from Dubai. Juni, thank you so much for joining us. Before becoming a watchmaker, uh, you worked as a service crew in an ice cream parlor at Isakaring Vlogger, no? One of the famous yes, Filipino vloggers in Dubai. Tell us, why did you decide to take this leap to become a watchmaker? Okay, uh, actually, that's a 10-year story to share because I was the mm. first Filipino vlogger dito sa Dubai. So I got a chance oh. to promote Filipino businesses. So very involved ako with the marketing ng iba't ibang klaseng uh, businesses dito sa Dubai. So that experience actually helped me na, okay, so since alam ko na yung in and out ng business, so ko, why don't I have to start my own business na? So I was lucky that I got a chance to meet Miss Jessica Darianani. She is actually my co-owner ng ng business namin na to. She's a social media and digital marketing guru. Plus, I have a big connection then for Filipino community dito sa Dubai. Kaya sabi namin, okay, mm. why don't we start uh, our own very own business? So in that case, sabi namin, okay, sige, let's do it. At diba? Kaya pa sabi namin, uh, kaya bakit pa tayo maghihintay if when is the really right time to start the business? But now, so yun ang naisip namin. So we oh. collected yung lahat ng kakailangan namin, yung so, knowledge na kailangan namin, plus the capital na kailangan already. So ayun, nasimula so namin Juni, ang business ng 2019. So Juni, why did you name your watch brand Kaya Ko? Why did you not give it a more uh, cosmopolitan international name? Bakit Pinoy mm-hmm. na Pinoy? Okay. Uh, as a vlogger po kasi, I have this advocacy to really inspire OFWs from all over the world na, uh, you know, you can be better. You can choose to be better talaga. Kaya sabi namin, okay, why don't we have to think of one thing na pwede natin gawing business? So ano pa yung common na ginagamit ng tao everyday, which is watches? So we decided to use the word kaya ko because we wanted to be a reminder to everyone, especially during pandemic, kasi we started ng 2009, ng January, and then by March, doon na na-develop yung idea na, okay, sige, we have to encourage, to motivate, to inspire Filipinos from all over mm. the world to face this pandemic. Eh. So that's the part of the advocacy ng business na meron kami. Kaya we wanted to always remind them na kaya mo yan. Because every day of our lives as OFW, di ba, we face different struggles. Eh. Kasi true. we don't just only consider about our own problem. Pati problema kasi ng pamilya natin sa Pilipinas, pinoproblema oh. natin. So we wanted to be that constant reminder sa kanila na kaya nyo. That's right. Kaya talaga natin. No? Ako, uh, yes. uh, Juni, I was an OFW for uh, 25 years sa Hong Kong, sa Singapore, wow. at saka sa London. Ngayon, bumalik na rin ako sa uh, Pilipinas. At saka, I mm-hmm. know what a lot of our fellow OFWs are experiencing uh, overseas. But tell us, mm-hmm. ang gaganda ng mga designs ng mga watches mo. How did you come up with them? And do you have a certain international watch brand that inspired you to come up with these watch designs? Okay. Uh, when it comes to design po talaga, we really wanted to collaborate with Filipino talents. So we contacted mm. and collaborated with yung ilang sa mga magagaling na mga tattoo artists sa Sergao. So we mm. have uh, Inigo. And then we also hired staff in the Philippines. Nag, uh, kumuha din kami ng mga researcher sa Pilipinas because we wanted to to share kasi sa mga expats, lalo na yung matatagal na sila dito sa ibang bansa, na nakakalimutan nila ang istorya, ang history, the beauty and mm. culture of uh, of being a Filipino. So yun yung nagiging reason namin kung bakit talagang we can say that this is a 100% Filipino watch. Okay, and we also wanted to connect with uh, Filipino students in the Philippines. Kasi ang ginagawa namin ngayon, we are collaborating with Filipino talents in the Philippines. So for example, with our video advertisement, we contacted yung last minute production Uh-oh. okay they are composed of four students Juni. sila yung gumagawa ng mga advertisement natin mm-hmm. ang dami ang dami talagang talent dito uh, sa Pilipinas that can yes. be tapped um 
uh, what is your ambition and big plans for Kaya Ko? At ang, ang mga Kaya Ko watches ba only available for OFWs? Paano naman kami dito sa Pilipinas? Kung gusto namin ng isang Kaya Ko watch, paano namin pwedeng bilhin? Okay, so that's, uh, this is actually good news po, no? Kasi uh, oh. yung watches namin are not only just available dito sa abroad. Since we are offering it online, everyone, even those who are in the Philippines, can order po sa aming website, which is www.kayako.ph. So it's for every Filipino in the world. That's right. And 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 before we end our interview, no, uh, Juni, mm -hmm. what is your advice for our fellow uh, overseas Filipino expatriates who dream to be their own bosses and have their own enterprise? Okay. Well, alam ko kasi, especially for OFWs, uh, we have so many dreams, not only just for mm. ourselves, but also for our family. But my message is, you know, stop dreaming, start um, making that action. Siguro for all OFW who's watching right now, they have to mm. make that very a very important step to make an action to their dream. Kasi if they mm. do that, then konting-konti na lang maaabot na nila ang kanilang pangarap. So, the distance between you and your dream is action. So you have to take action now. Thank you so much, uh, Juni, for being an inspiration to all Filipinos and to our fellow overseas Filipino expatriates abroad. Thank Juni you so Sudoy Sorsano, Filipino watchmaker based in Dubai.